okay so let's take a look at qq plot also known as quantile quantile plot in r so for this we will use r studio right and here what i'm going to do is i will be installing ggplot2 for those who don't have it installed you can follow along go to tools install packages type in ggplot2 click install right once this is installed you can create your one of the qq plot using ggplots inbuilt function stat qq right apart from that we can also use qq norm and qq line as two functions for drawing our quantile quantile plot right so what we're going to do is let's open our script right and here let's first call for ggplot2 right next thing we will be using set dot seed and we will use 5432 then next thing we have our value of x set to r norm and we have this up to 10,000 let's say qq norm is one of the functions that we use that will be passing value of x right then qq line is another function which takes value of x also we have to set the color say red green etc right so let's run this uh, currently we are not using any ggplot functions right so we will wait for that part but we can still execute the statement and it should call the library and everything we do will be visible here within console as well now we have seed then value of x then if we check this particular value we have that here right so next thing is checking the q norm this function plots our qq plot and puts up a label of normal qq plot along with the available data that we just passed right you can zoom in and check you can see theoretical quantities sample quantities right so it is taken by this qq norm now if we run qq line it will turn our plot with red data points and line drawn from the start to end right so pretty much more clarity on that basic qq plot right if we decide to use logically distributed values what will happen is let's see I decide to get value of y and then use our logis so for logically distribution value see 10,000 then what I can do is use qq norm pass y then also go with qq line and then pass y and then color for my line right so if I run this value of y then we draw it with qq norm function then qq line let's try and zoom this and we have change in our new plot where logically distributed values are plotted through value of y right now we can also compare these two data set right and then we will try to plot right so we add set to the same then use rt and then we can pass 10,000 and then 3 right next thing we can use qq plot and this function takes y and z right so trying to see 
comparison of two data set and there we go and here you see comparison is also in the plot however you notice that the label of normal QQ plot this time it's gone right so what we have done so far we have done basic QQ plot right then we added logically distributed values to that existing plot we compared two data set and updated our QQ plot so this quantile quantile plot we managed to do right now we can also try out one more thing which is our ggplot so ggplot is basically our visualization library in R that is doing most of the plotting right so apart from base package you can also use this ggplot option right there are multiple other graphical visualization libraries too but you can use ggplot too as it has some of the built-in functions to draw these plot right so in case of ggplot you have this function called stat underscore qq -Q, right so if we check stat underscore qq right so if we check this you will find that it shows us this information right stat qq so it takes mapping set to null data null geom point position distribution right then parameters right then legend and inherit aes right these are some of the things that you would find right so if we try and search for this in the documentation we can get the data about it as well right so we can take a look at help right so find in topic stat underscore qq if we add that as function right so we can search here right so let's hope we can find it over there so we have stat qq quantile quantile plot this is where it appears so geom qq and stat qq are the places where you can read about it so this is the function that we will be using right so here there is a qq line right then there is stat underscore qq and stat qq line geom qq stat qq as i said before here you get the data of the arguments that we can pass mapping then data then geom which is geometric object then position and distribution right then parameters distributed distribution function and then range show legends set to true or false right so these are some of the things that we can do here right now that we have already value of x i can do is data dot frame then i can take x right so basically i will have to run this and i got value of data so thousand observation of one variable so pretty much scrollable data right lot to scroll there so we have just one column and variation of that value right so coming back to the code here we will also be using the function called ggplot right pass in data then within aes i can use sample set to x right now i will be changing some of the internal values with concatenating it with stat underscore qq and this is one function that we will be calling then concatenate again with stat underscore qq underscore line right now here i can change the color say red 
right so if I run this I'll have to check my plot in plot tab and here you see the ggplot way of drawing the quantile quantile plot right so if I zoom in you will notice that it has the data it has removed the x lab y lab values along with main values no legend because we didn't add it right so pretty much clean type of quantile plot this background grid you will notice that in a small version of this plot right so pretty much everything is done in ggplot2 you will have to uh, mix and match few values there in order to get plot that has grid then you have x y uh, axis values and main plot value along with legend right so this is pretty much how you draw quantile quantile plot in r right so if you happen to use either base functions or you can use ggplot either one of that would do so you choose what works for you